What's up everyone? Right here on this table, you are looking at the world's most complicated, most over-engineered candy dispenser maybe ever invented. Before you do anything else, go to the description below, download the files and start printing. It's about 30 to 40 hours of printing because with Valentine's Day around the corner, this might be that perfect gift you were looking for. Not only does it show off how good you are with your hands, but it's also a candy dispenser. It's a double win. I'm Jay, this is JBV Creative. You know the drill, let's create. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this one-eyed brontosaurus looking piece and that's gonna push into the two side-by-side -side slots on the base. Next, you're gonna take this piece with a little heart on the front and that snaps into the base in the front slots, just like this. Now you're gonna find this little like one-armed astronaut, dancing astronaut thing. You need this piece of the conveyor belt base and this smaller flat gear. So what you do is you take this flat gear, you put it inside this dancing astronaut piece, and then you can take both of these together and slide it into the little slot in the bottom of the base, just like that. And then this will slot into the final two remaining slots on the base. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to find the longer of the two shafts and one of these sprockets. The sprocket goes in between the two pieces of the conveyor belt structure, and then the shaft slides in through the back. And that you can just leave there for now. Now grab this big gear and this smaller crank shaft thing. The big gear goes into this slot right here, and then the crank shaft will hold that into place. You know you got it in the right direction when the gears line up, basically. And when you're sure it's right, you're gonna take one of these medium C-clamps and that's just gonna snap into the slot on the end of the shaft here. Okay, in the interest of keeping that satisfactory snap feeling going, you're gonna grab this shaft, this big gear with the hole in it, and the knob on this side, and this handle. You're gonna start by taking the shaft and putting it through the hole. And just make sure that it's going out the flat side of the gear. Then you're gonna take this handle that slides right on top, and then another one of these medium C-clamps, and that will hold it on, boom, look at that. So satisfying. Now this gear will slide into the hole at the end of the base, just like that. Then you're gonna take your big C-clamp, and that's gonna slot onto the end of the shaft the same way as the others. So if you followed along with me in any of the past projects, You'll know that everything just takes a little bit of time to work itself in, but as long as it's all moving relatively smoothly, you know that you're good to go. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is build the conveyor belt. And it's super easy to build. You're just gonna take the links and you're gonna snap them together by putting one little knob into the hole on one side and pushing the other side in. And then you repeat that 29 times. Once you have your conveyor belt chain, you're gonna feed that in between the two conveyor belt structures around this sprocket that we had put in place earlier. Then you're gonna close the two loops together and snap them in. Now you're gonna find the other big bevel gear and this other shaft. And that shaft is gonna go through the bevel gear and push it into place. Now you're gonna take this sprocket, you're gonna feed it into the conveyor belt chain and then using this shaft, you're gonna slot it through the back and hold that into place. Push it all the way through. Of course, the D-clamp. Give it some spins, make sure everything's moving well. Well, and then you're ready to keep moving. Next thing that we're gonna do, find this little plate with the heart on it. That's gonna slot into the holes on the conveyor belt front and back structures. You kind of just have to split it apart, pop it in, and let it fall back together. Make sure that the heart is facing down. It's kind of just like a little secret heart there. Like you'll know it's there and it might be discovered with some inspection, but it's an Easter egg. 
Also, if it's not in there that tight, that's okay, it's by design, and we'll worry about that later. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is find this piece right here, and we need two of these small pins. So first things first, you're gonna take one of these little pins, and that's just gonna slot into the back of this crank right here. Then you're gonna take this piece, and with this bump facing towards the crank, that's gonna slot onto the other side of that pin. And then you're gonna C-clamp that on. Next, you're gonna take this piece right here, and that's gonna slide into these slots and the conveyor belt structure pieces. I don't, I don't know what to call these things. We're gonna call them the conveyor belt structure, structural pieces. Then you're gonna grab one of these pins, and that's just gonna hold the link and the sliding pieces together. And then of course, you C-clamp it. So next thing you're gonna do is grab this piece right here with a stick coming out of the end of it, and this knob, and you're gonna press the knob onto the end of the stick. Then you're gonna take one of these little basic pins, and that's gonna go into the hole in the front of the base. Then you're gonna slot this lever onto that pin, and C-clamp it on. Then do the same thing with this three-hole link in the other hole in the base. And it might be a little bit trickier to get the C-clamp on this one, but I have faith in you. You will figure it out. Next, grab this two-hold link, two more of these pins, and those will go through the holes in the middle of these two links. And then C-clamp that on as well. Next, you're gonna take this piece right here, and that is gonna snap onto the end of this shaft. Just presses right on. And then you're gonna take the last pin, and that's gonna go through the hole in the top of this link and through this slot. Then you're gonna C-clamp that on as well. Just slide it in and out a couple times, make sure that it's relatively smooth, once again. And if it is, we're, we're getting pretty close to done here, so get excited, because you're gonna be eating some candy very soon. So the last thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your hopper, and that'll push right onto these knobs on the top of the conveyor structure, just like that and that'll hold everything together. And then the last step, you're gonna take your M&Ms, or your Smarties, or your Skittles, or anything just kind of like this shape, and you're gonna dump them into the top. So if you think that this hopper is a little too big, there are a couple other sizes in your download file, so check those out. You don't have to print it this size. I just really like the way it looked. Take your lid, cap it, and now the moment of truth. Here it goes. Here's the coolest design feature of this whole thing in my opinion. If you have a candy on the conveyor belt and you don't want to dispense any more candies, you just simply hit this lever and that will disengage the candy dispenser and you can just crank it well. Clear that conveyor belt. And then, of course, and there it is, the most over-engineered, most complicated, candy dispenser, maybe ever invented. If I was lying to you, please tell me in the comments below if you've seen a more over-engineered, over-complicated candy dispenser. Thank you guys so much for following along. I'm really pumped with this design, and there was a couple good engineering challenges that I had to overcome to get this to work, which I will detail in the next video. Until then, deuces. I didn't realize it, but all this filming has made me so hungry. And these are so good.